What's up with you two fam? And I'm back again with another video. Look, we're gonna jump straight into this whole situation with Kim Kardashian, new little boyfriend, and uh, Kanye West. He's actually responding to the whole situation that happened today. For those who don't know what happened today, basically, Pete Davidson, Pete Robinson, whatever the hell his name is, I don't even pay him no attention. Kim Kardashian, new boyfriend, he posted him and Kanye West's message thread. And basically, he was just gaslighting Kanye West to a certain extent, in my eyes anyway. Just playing that game. And he knew that he was gonna put these messages out, so he played it a certain way, you know? And me personally, man, I don't even think Kim Kardashian even liked the dude. She just using him, you know? I just feel like that because, I mean, it's just a certain way that she moves, a certain way she acts and everything like that. I just think that she really don't like him. I honestly oh my think that Kanye West has actually told her some stuff about this dude, so she already know what buttons the press. You feel me? Like, you know how your dude to have a problem with somebody that you used to be with or somebody you used to talk to or something like that? She knows that already. She knew that she was going to get this type of reaction out of him, you know? And it is what it is. I just hate the fact that everybody mm -hmm. going against him, especially the pro-black people and shit like that, bro. The people who always love black people and this and this and want happy families and all the other type of shit. But right now, you see a man professing his love for a woman, but you choose to make fun of him and call him a stalker and shit like that. But you got a whole man at home beating your head in through the wall, jumping through windows, throwing you out the rolling cars and all that different type of shit, man. Stalking you to death and vice versa. There's some women out there that's talking about him that do the same shit or even worse. So I don't get that shit. It's a very wholesome man trying to be with his family, trying to be with his children and everything like that. And you got to think about it like this. This is his first set of children with somebody. So, yeah, you're going to have a different love and a different respect for her. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like people just want you to be a robot these days. They're not even understanding that we are human. You know, we have emotions and shit. And sometimes, man, it takes a couple of incidents for you to actually understand that somebody's done with you. And I think that he finally did that because he did go ahead and accept her divorce you know what i'm saying but yeah we're gonna go ahead and watch this response to the whole situation man it just it just bothers the hell out of me to see people making fun of him and going through shit like this and people making fun of him instead of encouraging him to get somebody else and do different things yeah yeah we know he do things for the internet and everything like that but at the same time man he's actually out here trying to keep a marriage together some shit that people don't even see these days man you know people just going to one part into the next when it's somebody in your face that's trying to show you that they want to be with a woman and be with a family and shit like that. And you want to make fun of them because he's trying to get her back. It's just sad to me. But let's get into the whole situation, man, and see what the hell is going on. And I respect him for standing up for himself and saying what he got to say. He got a big enough voice to go ahead and get his own message across. So why not do that? You know what I'm saying? Why would you sit back and let the whole world make their own narrative of you? You know, it's just weird to say. Well, let's get into it, though, and see what the hell he got to say. I didn't even watch it yet. I just seen the damn video and just downloaded it. Yo, it's funny. I feel like people just, they just want to see... They want to see somebody meltdown. They want to see a dad, a father, a human being. They want to see what's going to happen right now. If I could be gaslit, if I could be pushed to a, a limit. We see now factually that I was asking, demanding to see my children and bring them to Sunday service with me because that's, you know, one of the places they get to be. I, why do I have to even give an explanation? But the fact that Thanks. I was praying online in a public format to see my children lets you know how diminished I have been as a father that I could even get to that point. Because as I was leaving church and my kids wasn't there, I was like, why should I have to pray to see my children? Why? Because it's a narrative written about, you know, I, I never wanted to even have to say richest black man of all time, but it's like we have to overcompensate in America for our position if we don't bow to the system that's been set for us, that's been set for all rappers and all ball players. We don't own our leagues and they don't keep playing with me. But eventually, not everybody will keep playing like that. Like, you're telling people something without saying it, <laughs> for real. Kim chose for our kids to be watched by other people. She wasn't with the kids. Her boyfriend is texting me pictures of him naked in bed talking about, I'm with your wife. I, I thought she wasn't my wife, but we went through a year and a half of divorce. I finally got the lawyer to hit the divorce. And I, why you calling her my wife then? Unless you're trying to gaslight, you being used as a pawn, and Kim is also. It's bigger than any of y'all think, bro. The whole indoctrination at Sierra King is bigger than y'all think. Ungodly organizations. But God got this, and God got me, baby. And as, as far as like, oh, he crazy, crazy. Yo, that shit is just like, 
it's weak. It's just mat. You know, it's like trying to match the shoes to the jacket. It's, it's like too obvious, bro. Obviously, this brilliance do that. And I don't see how you can sit there and say he's crazy for actually speaking that. Now, some things he did say was kind of out of line. But like I said before, it's some shit happening behind closed doors to the point where he has to go out here and say certain things. That's just how I feel about it, you know. And I mean, shit, what do you expect somebody to do if they got to actually go through all this shit just to see their children, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Just really think about that. And, you know, some dudes don't even have their kids or even want to be around their kids. And they got the nerve to speak on this, man. You know what I'm saying? But I think he has an actual genuine love for these children. He want to be around them more, you know I mean? And I'm pretty sure that he's already accepted the fact that she's been messing with this man, you know what I'm saying, sexually and things like this. So, yeah, that's beyond repair on that end, you know, but, you know what I'm saying? but at the same time, there's certain things that he don't like about this man, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to look at it like this, man. People not understanding that he might see something in Pete Davidson or heard something or know something that people don't know. And he might be really iffy about him being around children. You know what I'm saying? People ain't thinking about that shit. They just want to make a narrative like he's saying, man. They want to push their own narrative, want to say what they want to say, but they're not even thinking deeply into this shit. A lot of dudes will lose their girlfriend and then she'll get a new man and they be saying all different type of things about the new man that she got. But you can't see that he might be going through the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, I want my son around him and we'll, we'll, let me meet him. Let me talk to him. Let's meet on a new level. You know, he tried to meet him today in the messages and shit like that. And no boy didn't want to meet on his terms. So, I mean, shit, what the hell is we even texting for? You know? You know but I just don't get how people just sitting here throwing him up under the bus because he actually want to be in his fucking children's life, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn. And I feel like, you know, if y'all don't even feel like this, the case, let him see the children and see how he act in. You know what I'm saying? Like, get a man a chance first before you just try to throw him up under the bus. That's just how I feel about it. But this shit weird as hell, man. Let me get back into the video. Y'all know I got to pause because of YouTube. Let's get into it, though. Obviously, it'd be some baby bomber stuff. On one end, it's like I'm stalking this woman. But if I pop out at a game, then all of a sudden, Kim not texting me back. This baby, this baby mama 101. Facts. But I'm not having it. It's up. Yeah, yeah. Like. And I want to, as a godly person, not even blame Kim in this situation, but you got to understand that people who are controlled and compressed try to control and compress other people. People that are free want to free other people. Mm. I've always been free. I've always been me. And I'm those kids' daddy. And you're not gonna muffle me, and you're not gonna write me off as crazy. We can play fair, but I'm not gonna stop using my voice. But uh, yeah, man, that's the end of the video, man. And me personally, bro, I feel like that when he just said what he just said about she's being controlled and he's not, he was just trying to tell everybody something without saying too much, you know what I'm saying? I think that it's some shit going on in Hollywood behind closed doors that everybody know about, but they just can't say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? But everything else that he said was 100. I respect that he's actually standing up for what he believe in in front of anybody. You know what I'm saying? Standing on all 10, standing on what he believe in all that shit. Because let's keep it 100, man. A lot of women use these children as puns and men also. You know what I'm saying? You get your new little boyfriend, a new little something, a little, little dip, little side piece, whatever the case may be. And if they get mad enough, they'll use that person to make their significant other mad, you know what I'm saying? Or their ex-significant other, whatever the case may be. So I feel like that she's just using the media, you know what I'm saying? Playing a victim role, you know what I'm saying? Real good, and everybody eating it up. They just want some drama out of this whole situation, you know what I'm saying? They already know Kanye West love these children to death. He wouldn't do nothing to hurt nobody, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that Pete Davidson or Robertson, whatever the hell his name is, he been doing shit behind closed doors, and he getting tired of it, you know? And what better way for me to go ahead and put this shit out here first before y'all? But it's crazy because normally when the story goes out, the person who put it out first is the one who everybody believe. But these days, man, they just want a story and they want this shit to keep on going. They'd rather just make Kanye West look like a goddamn fool every time he say something. You know what I'm saying? Even though some stuff he do say be outlandish and kind of overboard, you know, but at the same time, shit, man, he can't see his kids when he want to see them. So, yeah, you're going to get a little eye right here and there, you know? But, uh, yeah, like I said before, Kim Kardashian really don't like that boy like that. You know what I'm saying? She's just using him. I just honestly feel like that. People not realizing that it might be something behind closed doors that he knows about Pete Davidson and he really don't want his children around them. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, he really want to talk to this nigga and make sure that he understand, like, bro, I will do something to you. It's the difference from me texting you and playing these little games over the phone and shit like that. But if we have a man-to-man -man and I tell you this, I might feel a little bit better at the end of the day. 
But uh, yeah, man, it's just sad to see that everybody going against Kanye like that, bro. Real shit, man. When you can actually see somebody trying to be with their family, love them, and try to show the world how a man's supposed to treat his family and things like that, bro. It's sad, man. Real talk. Everybody be so pro-black and want this and want that for them. But when it comes to shit like this, bro, it's just crazy how people can turn on you so fast like that. For real, for real. I feel like that everything that's happening in the media and you know what i'm saying it can spiral out of control if you don't say nothing about it so he got to be on his toes he got to say something all the time so it's gonna feel like he is online all the time but y'all not understanding that it's big blog sites and shit like that it's saying yeah. stuff about him every other minute so yeah he gotta keep on responding keep on saying shit so people gonna be feeling like what can you wish i always got something to say now nah, you're not realizing that this other shit going on that you don't even know nothing about you you can see what he said but you don't miss 10 or 15 posts saying all type of different shit about him that's degrading his character that's making him look like a goddamn fool you know what i'm saying so yeah man you got to take your time to find out what the hell going on before you just go ahead and start judging and for p davidson to do whatever the hell he did this morning you know what I'm saying? you know what i'm saying sending all type of pictures of him in the bed with the woman and all that that's lame as hell bro real shit i swear that's lame as hell but, uh, yeah, man, I got too much more to say about the whole situation. I just honestly feel like that Kanye West is out here doing what he's supposed to do. At first, I feel like he was kind of tripping, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, constantly getting on social media. But I started seeing, like, damn, this blog's, like, saying something. This one's saying something. This one's saying something. Hell, yeah, he got he need to get out here and say something. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, for me to actually sit back and look at everything for what it really is, I can understand where he's coming from. I'm not going to turn my back on somebody when they need some help like this right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is mentally breaking him down. He in that, he in that whole crying and shit like that. Even though he might have set up the circumstances to be the way that they are, at the same time, he is trying to right his wrongs, and you can't fight a man for that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all out here be looking crazy as hell when somebody do you wrong and treat you bad and shit like that. But when you see somebody else get treated right, you get jealous of that. You should be trying to encourage other men to be like this man right here. Try, try to get your woman back. You know what I'm saying? Drop your pride. Put it to the side. Go ahead, go back and try to do your thing, man. Shit, if the world gonna crucify you, who gives a damn? You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? But instead, they want to make fun of you. You know what I'm saying? Just for likes and shit like that. You know, whatever the hell make you look like a wimp or make you look sad or make you look crazy to the media. People want to roll with that versus just trying to honestly sit back and dissect the situation for what it really is and just try to pick apart everything. Realize that everybody's not crazy, man. People be trying to filter themselves versus just blasting every single thing that they know, you know? So, yeah, it is what it is. I ain't got too much more to say about the whole situation. I'll holler at y'all a little bit later on another video. If you don't like what I said during this video, I really don't give a fuck. I'll holler at y'all a little bit later though. Yo, it's funny. I feel like people just, they just want to see... They want to see somebody melt down. They want to see a dad, a father, a human being. They want to see what's going to happen right now. If I could be gaslit, if I could be pushed to a, a limit. We see now factually that I was asking, demanding to see my children and bring them to Sunday service with me because that's, you know, one of the places they get to be. I don't, why do I have to even give an explanation? But the fact that I was praying online in a public format to see my children lets you know how diminished I have been as a father that I could even get to that point. Because as I was leaving church and my kids wasn't there, I was like, why should I have to pray to see my children? Why? Because it's a narrative written about, you know, I, I never wanted to even have to say richest black man of all time, but it's like we have to overcompensate in America for our position if we don't bow to the system that's been set for us, that's been set for all rappers and all ball players. We don't own our leagues and they're gonna keep playing with me, but eventually not everybody gonna keep playing like that. Kim chose for our kids to be watched by other people. She wasn't with the kids. Her boyfriend is texting me pictures of him naked in bed talking about, I'm with your wife. I, I thought she wasn't my wife. We went through a year and a half of divorce. I finally got the lawyer to hit the divorce. And I, why are you calling her my wife then? Unless you're trying to gaslight you being used as a pawn. And Kim is also. It's bigger than any of y'all think, bro. The whole indoctrination at Sierra King is bigger than y'all think. Ungodly organizations. But God got this and God got me, baby. And as, as far as like, oh, he crazy, crazy. Yo, that shit is just like, it's weak. It's just, mad. you know, it's like trying to match the shoes to the jacket. It's, it's like too obvious, bro. 
obviously this brilliance do that. And obviously it'd be some baby bomber stuff. On one end, it's like, I'm stalking this woman. But if I pop out at a game, then all of a sudden, Tim not texting me back. This baby, this baby mama 101. But I'm not having it. It's up. Like, And I want to, as a godly person, not even blame Kim in this situation, but you got to understand that people who are controlled and compressed try to control and compress other people. People that are free want to free other people. I've always been free. I've always been me. And I'm those kids' daddy. And you're not gonna muffle me, and you're not gonna write me off as crazy. We can play fair, but I'm not gonna stop using my voice.